Day of gripping testimony in the Cipriano murder case, defendant Mitchell Young listened as witnesses testified on everything from the night of the attack to the arrests. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards spent the day in court. The morning of the attacks, hours after they happened, 19 year old Mitchell Young was strapped to a hospital bed in handcuffs. Officers say he was complaining of pain and said he was hit with a baseball bat by Tucker Cipriano. ER doctor, Dr. Jillian Davis, testified she treated him and said there was no visible sign of that type of trauma. I would have thought that there would have been more extensive injuries. What would you expect? Swelling. Contusions, bruising, um, bleeding, perhaps. There was no bruising? No. It came out in court. Young, however, did have a dislocated jaw. This afternoon, a minor who was only 14 at the time of the crime took the stand. We cannot show her on camera. She testified the morning of the attacks, a friend called her to notify her the attacks were all over the news while Tucker Cipriano was sleeping inside her Kiko Harbor home. She said once awake, Tucker asked her and another friend to get a knife and clothes out of Young's pickup truck after he was aware police were looking for him. Police got there at the same time and took them into custody. Officer Mark Mostek testified he was there as they arrested Tucker. Tucker Cipriano comes walking out, has his hands up. He's ordered to a position right in front of me. He's ordered to the ground and Officer Paulo Hernandez takes him into custody, handcuffs him at that point. He's searched. And late this afternoon, evidence text took the stand showing more pictures from the crime scene as well as pictures of other objects, and they were not able to get fingerprints on certain objects. The trial resumes on Wednesday. At the Oakland County Courthouse, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.